Hi guys, welcome back to another video of ours and today we are going to discuss how to make money as a dog sitter. You will be surprised at the amount of money that you can make as a dog sitter. In fact, dog sitting is an entire business in itself which can help you earn a full-time income. If you are interested in it, follow along. Hi guys, I am Chavi, the owner of Mrs. Daku Studio, a blog where we talk all about making money online and working from home. If you haven't already, click on the subscribe button below and subscribe to our channel. Do not forget to click the bell icon below so you're notified every time a new video is uploaded on making money online. So the first and the foremost question is, how much do pet sitters charge? Pet sitters can charge $20 to $40 in a day on an average. When I was researching on dog sitting business, I landed on Indeed and I realized that an, on an average, pet sitters make $38,000 per year in United States. That is a great income potential for this business. So if you're interested in it, if you like dogs, if you like animals, then this is the perfect side hustle for you. The best part about dog sitting business is it can be a full-time business for you or it can be a side business for you in order to earn additional income. So how do you start with it? How to start making money as a dog sitter? I would advise you if you're new to this, start up with Rover. So go to their website that is rover.com. I will link it in the description box below and sign up with them. If you already have an existing account with them, sign in. If not, create a new account. Once you do that, you will have to build your profile. So you need to add a lot of photos, maximize the services. That is, you need to select the services that you, off, you want to offer. That is house sitting, pet sitting, dog sitting, cat sitting, etc. You need to set your rates and set your availability. Once your profile is complete, it will be sent to their sitter team for review. Once the profile gets approved by their team, you will receive a background check that will be processed by checker. The background checks are non-refundable. Once all this is over, you need to keep an eye on your email. Their, prof their profile experts will ask you to modify a few things to make your profile the best it can be. So keep an eye out for this email. You will typically hear from them within five business days and they will notify you via email if your profile is approved or not. Once all of this is done, your profile is approved and you pass a background check, your sitter services will be live and viewable in the Rover Marketplace. So let's talk about a few terms on Rover. So Rover takes at least 15% of your charge as a service fee. The fees that is deducted from your rate cover your use of Rover platform to meet new clients and manage your business, Rover's marketing and promotions to attract new clients to their site, and Rover's 24-7 support including a dedicated team of safety experts. Now depending on what services you choose to offer as a pet sitter or dog walker, you may be charged a small fee to cover the background check before getting started. But this is the only thing that you are charged with before you start marketing your services on Rover. Once you start getting clients on the platform, it is then that you are charged with this 15% service charge that I'm talking about. So for example, if you are, if you are charging $100 per hour, $15 will be deducted as Rover fee. You can get paid via PayPal or by check. So let's talk about a few tips to maximize earnings with Rover. So let's start with the profile. So when you are uploading a picture of yours, remember to upload a professional photo. I do not want you to take up any random photo in which you are carrying a drink or probably smoking or your Snapchat picture etc. I want you to take up photos where you can showcase your love for dogs or cats or pets in general. Also, try and upload a lot of photos so that the person who's trying to hire you gets a feel of who you are and how you are with animals. The second tip is to list your rates lower than average. Now, let's try to understand this. 
let's say you are shopping on Amazon and you see a product that is ten dollars. Now you see the same product by the same company, the same quality at dollar seven and dollar eight. You lean towards checking them out and probably buy the dollar seven one over the dollar eight and dollar ten, right? So this works the same way. So before you list out your rates, try and gauge what is the going rate for your city or for your neighborhood. So if it is twenty dollars for an hour, try and keep your rates a little bit lower. So you can charge somewhere around eighteen to nineteen dollars. I I'm not saying to drastically reduce the rates. Like I'm not saying that offer your services at fifteen dollars or ten dollars. I'm saying keep it one to two dollars low. This will attract new people to your services. So if somebody is looking for dog sitters in their area, they say twenty dollars, twenty dollars, twenty dollars, twenty dollars, and then see seventeen dollars or eighteen dollars, then they'll be attracted to reach out to you immediately. Whether it is your first client, second client, or repeat customer, give your best in the first go, and then slowly start raising your rates. If if you're already working with somebody, they would always prefer to hire you the next time instead of trying out new people just because their rates are a little lower. The next one is to offer discounts to repeat customers. This is the best way to attract a clientele you already have. Another tip is to offer additional services to your new or existing customer. For example, if you're house sitting for somebody, you can ask them if you can add on any service for them. For example, you can water the plants, you can mow the lawn, etc. Once you ask them and confirm the rates, you can modify the request and add it on. Tip is to respond as soon as you can. And when I say as soon as you can, I'm talking about 15 minutes. If you cannot, save up an automated response and send it out without having to look at it again. You can type it in the notepad of your phone and keep it handy. So, for example, if you are driving and you notice that there is a request on Rover, you can just stop by and send that automated response. The next one is to set up pet preferences. If you want to earn more within a less period of time with Rover, it is important that you maximize the pet preferences and maximize the services that you are providing. You can offer pet sitting services for puppies, cats, dogs. any kind of dogs big small large etc try and accommodate as many services as possible the next one is to get testimonials from your clients the more testimonials you have the better because these things help you build credibility and attract new clients so always encourage your clients to leave a review for you If your friends and family are interested in starting a dog walking business or try it out or even make some amount of money on the side refer them with your referral link or your promo code this will help you earn additional income outside of dog walking The last one is to be in communication with your client at all times send photos of their pet allow them to have a video call and see if their pet is fine and ensure that you give them the peace of mind while they're away So how much can you earn with Rover in general? So it all depends upon where you live. There are places where the minimum is at forty dollars per hour, and then there are cities where twenty dollars is where it all starts. So depending on where you live, you can earn anywhere between twenty dollars an hour regularly to up to fifty and up if it is the holiday season. There you go. This is all about. how to make money dog sitting and how much can you earn with rover how can you start your dog walking business etc once you become comfortable with rover you can in fact start your own independent dog sitting business you can print out flyers tell your friends and family and tell it to your entire neighborhood that you are providing these services and start from there and grow doing this will help you save the 15% or more that you are giving to rover as a fee but of course you need to handle marketing sales etc all by yourself there you go this is all about dog walking business and how to earn money dog walking if you like the video please 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 share it with your friends and family and do not forget to subscribe to our channel i will link to rover in the description box below so do not forget to check it out thank you and see you tomorrow